Hey, welcome back to the tool bench. Uh, we are going to do a video on the installation of these new parts that uh, arrived. Uh, they've been on the Shapeway store for a little bit of time now, but I haven't been able to do a video because um, these took quite a while to get to my door. Um, they are direct replacements and bit holders for the Leatherman Signal. So Leatherman Signal uh, is marketed as an outdoor tool. Uh, it's got all the features that, you know, typically an outdoor person would want or outdoor activities. Uh, you got some pliers, you got that kind of thing. You got a hammer for hammering stakes. Um, you hear a ferrocerium rod and you have a, uh, a whistle on that too, but also a sharpener, a uh, diamond coated sharpener. But uh, for everyday use, I find that these tools kind of are a waste of space, not really useful. Um, so what I've designed is these replacement bits uh, that are able to hold extra Leatherman flat bits. So with these two combined pieces, you're able to put two extra um, Leatherman screwdriver bits. So instead of having um, just one on the interior here, uh, you're gonna able to be carry three. So I've done this for my black um, signal here. Um, this is for another time. Uh, and uh, the mechanisms for attaching them are the exact same as the uh, original um, pieces. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll install the other ones. So the um, sharpener comes off with uh, just a little knob here. It goes in there. And then this one is extracted to the inside with a spring. This comes out. So um, I really like this colorway. This aqua is kind of, it's loud. It's, it's really cool. And uh, I got the hot pink <laughs> version of uh, the plastic. Uh, plastic parts. So these come, uh, you can order them separately um, or you can order them together like this. And so they're connected with a little bit of a sprue here so that it saves a bit of money because Shapeways uh, charges per part. So if you were to order them separately, it costs more than having the one part. So you can order this like this, uh, they have to separate them or you can order them individually if you choose to keep the sharpener or choose to keep the, this, the, um, the whistle rod. So what I uh, found the best way of doing this is actually taking a really cheap, inexpensive pair of uh, flush cutters, uh, which gets you really, 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 really close to the edge here. So I'm just gonna snip that off. And then right there, this is the only thing you have to do. So this is tricky to do on camera. So that's the piece that you cut off. Uh, and it's already pretty good. There's no really no real need to, uh, to sand that or anything. Uh, what you really wanna watch out for is to not take off that little nubbin. That nubbin is really important to keep it from rotating in the part here. So if this arrives for some reason, it's a little bit of a fragile part. This arrives from the factory uh, broken. You'll have to uh, email Shapeways to make sure that you can get a replacement part. So um, this piece uh, gets slotted in just like that. And then you push it through and then that is installed. So, I mean, this is designed not to be removed. Um, at, whereas the, uh, the sharpener is to be designed to remove off and on again. So once you have this installed, um, doesn't wear the warranty or anything, but it's already, it's kind of, that's, that's the way it is. So the bits just slide in there. Some bits slide in a little bit deeper, uh, than the other one. And then it just comes off like that. The other piece, um, you, uh, slide the bit in this way and the bit is loose for a reason. And I'll show you in a three second why. So you install it the same way that you would install the other piece. So you slide it in that way. There's a lip that catches on the outside and you push it and then the spring engages. So the thing is loose is because um, you don't have to, I don't want to have to take this whole thing out all the time. So you just be able to push it just enough so that um, the bit can slide out and then you put it back in and there. So I feel like that's a pretty good addition to them. Uh, the Relative Signal now definitely is a nice uh, EDC tool. I probably replaced the saw with something else, but um, from a, a feature standpoint, the hammer, the um, driver bits, and all the other stuff, uh, it makes for a really nice EDC tool. It's not, it's not any more heavy than a, um, a wave, actually it's lighter and has more function to it. Uh, I really like the carabiner. So I've always had an eye on the, the Signal, but never actually purchased one. So when I got one for my birthday, it was time to get designing on stuff. So that's it. Uh, these are the bits uh, available on Shapeways. Um, I don't know what exactly the price on them, but uh, we'll put a link in the description. Okay, thanks for watching.